He's laughing. This is entertaining. Yes, yes. You two are affecting all of us. This is bullshit. Who's the head of house, my dog? This is fucking I bullshit. And this is fucking you, bullshit. You know both of you are adults. We shouldn't be affected by this. acting like one. Fuck. You're not gonna affect This is bullshit. You guys are childish. You're fighting because he wrote the script. Yo, ah, Junior, grow up, please. Yo. Fix the issue you have with me, bro. My issue is that you're being childish. That's my issue. You're trying to get a TV You're moment. Being childish, childish. There's a camera right there. Smile at it. <laughs> Smile at it right there. Guys, since I've been watching Big Brother show, I've never seen a head of house this weird. I beg, where did they get my junior from? This guy literally wants the housemates to lose their wager because Papa Ghost is in charge of the script writing. Like, he literally wants to dominate everything. He doesn't want Papa Ghost to handle or be in charge of anything because he's the head of ours. Papa Ghost is good at script writing and he has been doing a good job. You would not believe that Mac Jr. has refused to cooperate with every other housemate because of the beef he has with Papa Ghost. Housemates have been complaining, less practice, he has been so reluctant. You will see him having fun time with fahima and i'm even surprised that neo on the other hand the same neo that Elle, the housemate cooperated with last week and she won the wager when she was the hoh is refusing to practice with the housemates no i'm not ready i'm not coming i'm not about to listen to ghost uh, because papa ghost is in charge of the script and she says she's not ready to listen to him can you imagine like Faima on the other hand is acting like the madam of the house because a so-called bobo is the head of the house and whatever he says or do is what is go she's going to follow i'm like yo what is wrong with this housemate mark jr is just weird like that guy is literally weird you won't believe he's angry because papa ghost is in charge of script writing and because of that, he doesn't want to cooperate. You are the head of us. That doesn't mean you know everything. If he's good at script writing, he should do it. And the housemate has said that so far, Papa Ghost has been doing a good job with the script writing. He's saying that he is not aware of the script writing. Papa Ghost is not bringing it to him to validate. Like, housemates were devastated yesterday. Like, everybody was literally complaining. At some point, even when they wanted to practice, they had to start begging him to come out because he's having fun time with his girlfriend. <laughs> hey, God, I beg go. Funny how the housemate will be complaining and telling him, you know, what he's doing wrong. Immediately, anybody stand up to complain. He will just talk over that person and say, if you want a screen time, look at the camera and face the camera. Like, he has listened to nobody. Literally nobody. At this point, I think my junior needs to be out of this game because what the heck? I beg, moving to the bright side of things, Sinaye and Z. Hey, this our ship is really shipping. Guys, last night has to be the best time Sinaye and Z has had together from the beginning of the show. Uh -uh, they've been gisting a lot. They danced. They carried each other. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. This ship is really shipping. As soon as I spent a lot of time on Z's bed, and guys, something happened. <laughs> something happened. At this point in time, I have actually confirmed that Sinai likes Z a lot. Like, he literally likes Z. All this bad boy thing, you know, him saying he wants Z to fall for him. I'm gonna lie. Because when he was on Z's bed, his odogu was strong like i don't know how the cameraman decided to show us that sinaye's you know mm -mm -mm, family man is already strong and the camera showed it hey he couldn't bear it though sinaye couldn't bear it he had to lay flat on the bed i'm like who what is going on what is going on the same scenario that is for me, bad boy. Don't fall your cat out. Mm -hmm. 
See, you do this one. Anyway, I'm not surprised. He's such a pretty lady, so why not? But on the other hand, don't you think Sinaya is contradicting himself? Because the same Sinaya that went to the diary room... This week, actually, I've been missing my girlfriend a whole lot as well. I've been a bit worried as well with how um, connection with Z has been coming along, you know. I hope she doesn't, like, perceive things in a different way. And that. Don't you think Sinaya is contradicting himself? Because the same Sinaya that went to the diary room saying he has been thinking about his girlfriend throughout the whole week that he hopes the girlfriend will not misunderstand what is going on, the connection that is going on between him and Z, blah, blah, blah. It's the same person that is all over Z this night, though. But anywho, I don't mind. You know, consign me. All I know, I'm, I'm entertained and I'm enjoying everything that is going down in that house. I don't want to, especially the place that she works at. It's the toppest of the toppest. Yeah. You understand? Like yeah. when she's outside of here, like it's either she's going to forget about him or she's going to cheat on him hard. Mm, mm, mm. Away from that, guys, can somebody tell me what is wrong with Fahima? What is our obsession with Z? Like, what is our obsession? To the extent of complaining and saying that the whole thing going on between Z and Sinaye is fake because Z works in a club. And that a kind of person will not take Sinaye serious. Is it that she go back to her usual way of life or she's going to cheat on him? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what is what is all this rubbish? Like, why is Fahima sulking? She's literally eating up herself because of Z. So she's trying to say that Z is a loose girl because she works in the club. And a kind of person cannot really have any form of relationship with Sinai outside the house. That she's going to go back to our normal way of life, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that is so condescending. So because Z works at the club means she's a loose girl. Like, what the heck? At this point in time, my big brother, please take Fahima away. Because her energy is draining. Like, I wonder how the housemates cope around her. What? Ew. She has been calling everybody fake, 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 fake. I, I really do not know her problem. Is it because Sinaye is now giving Z the whole attention? Is that why she's burning up? Guys, something interesting happened last night. You know, Mpumi, Els, and Mile, they've been dancing, you know, having this kind of erotic dance. Guys, the dance choke. Like, everybody that comes across them is actually very surprised that, wow, you girls are really doing a lot. Guys, you will not believe that Jared came and saw them dancing. He just looked at them like, he kept staring at them like, what are these girls up to? And all of a sudden, he ran away. <laughs> Mpumi will really be the end of Jared in that house. Like, he could not stand seeing what Mpumi was doing. Hmm. If they give Mpumi and Jared the opportunity, they are going to eat each other up in that house. Jared said, yo, what is this? What is in the lap's opening is this? He saw it. He couldn't hold himself. He had to run. <laughs> Indeed, Upumi is Jared weakness in the house. To be honest, I love that. Our revenge couple have decided that nothing is going to come in between both of them. Guys, <laughs> Lima and Jared, these two have decided to be focused and not allow third party to ruin whatever they have going on. Our revenge couple is no longer revenge, you know. So something happened. Mpumi wrote a letter to Jared saying that both of them should meet up at the restroom after light out. So Leama saw the letter and read it. She seemed like she didn't really care about the letter. But later, Lerato came and started advising her, girl, don't allow anybody to take your man away from you. Do not give room for that. Blah, blah, blah. And guys, Lema is taking that advice and she's really working on it. She did not react. She did not say anything bad. 
she's still having fun with Tama and Jared. Okay, in fact, they even shared the bed together. <laughs> Our revenge couple. <laughs> Guys, last night was hectic. But but on the bright side, our ship is shipping. Sinai and Z are in a good place, okay? And I really cannot wait to see their dinner dates come by. I really cannot wait. I wonder how Sinai's girlfriend will be feeling at home. <laughs> Sinai seems to be worried about his girlfriend, but he will not stop chasing after Z. I, I wonder how, like, it doesn't even make sense. So guys, what do you think about my Junior and his leadership style? That guy... <sighs> I wonder how the housemates are coping because me f watching from outside here, I feel very, very disgusted. I wonder how they, <laughs> they are coping with him in that house. What he did this night is very, very unacceptable. And I wish Big Brother would punish him for that. Other housemates are really willing to practice. But he was so reluctant, all in the name of his beef with Papa Ghost.